Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I'll show you how to draw a Sasquatch. And I should know how to draw a Sasquatch because I drew a whole book of them. And it's available at Kickstarter right now, so please go and check out the link down in the description to back up Sasquatch Vikings, a really cool project. Uh, I would love for you to support it. Uh, yeah, check it out, the link will be down in the description. It starts off with this page, this is the first page of the book, and you can see already a really mean looking Sasquatch is about to go nuts and yeah not looking too good for all these vikings. And I don't want to spell too many beans of this project, but I'll show you another page. That's what happens when you mess with a Sasquatch. So don't try this at home, fellas. And as you might have seen already, I drew a pretty neat cover for the book, which is also already covered by Andrew Dollhouse, you can see it right here. Great colorist, can't wait to see the whole thing. But anyway, um, yeah. That's the cover, but we need a back cover for the book. And that's where the Sasquatch comes in again. For the back cover, I want to draw a very detailed head sketch of the Sasquatch. And that might also something you would like to draw for the drawing contest, because you will be able to be in the book. You just have to submit a really cool piece of fan art and the three best uh, drawings of, this, of these submissions will be printed in the book. Pretty cool. But now, my friends, let's draw a Sasquatch. And of course we start off with a line in the middle to define the middle of our face and there's the eye line already. Just draw some big nice eyes. I mean not too nice because it's supposed to be a screaming Sasquatch and you can see the nostrils are in a very high, uh, very steep angle. So he looks very, very pissed because this will be a screaming Sas Sasquatch. Um, very cool figures, by the way, those Sasquatches. Uh, although it's it was getting a little bit boring to draw so much fur all the time. So if I don't have to draw a lot of fur over the next couple of months, I I will not be sad about that. And here you can see already, uh, this is this is the mouth, big mouth screaming at us. And yeah, uh, this is only sped up a little bit because you might want to draw along. So I thought I, I just sped it up a little so it doesn't get too long the whole video. I mean, um, but I will I will sped up a little bit more later when it comes to the inking. But the pencil part that's the most important one, so you can draw along. Um, after that, you just have to to trace everything you just did. Uh, here you can see uh, the structure of the face and this is the head, the whole head of course. And even though the Sasquatch has a lot of hair, he also has like a main hair like you can see here. Uh, we drew that in already uh, where it begins. Uh, and these are the ears of uh, right next to the eyes of course where they belong. They are a little bit uh, like elven ears, a, a little spiky, but just a little bit. Uh, there will be the, the hair, the hairlines, because of course he needs to have a lot of hair. But not just uh, at the top of the head, but also like here, sideburns uh, and, and, and a pretty, pretty big beard on the chin as well, of course. And I will speed it up a little bit more now because to draw all the hair, that's just a boring process to watch. So uh, I I guess you can you can get all you need. You have to repeat yourself anyway, and you can get all you need for redrawing this when watching this sped up like that. Yeah, you can see the teeth are coming in really nicely, and also uh, the eyes. They they are very important. Uh, because they make him look way more angry when you position the eyes on the right spot. Now I'm already putting in some of the some of the shadings uh, we will do with with hatching lines, uh, but not all of them because mostly I will do those with the inks, I guess. But still a pretty nice amount, uh, so so we know where the shadings are overall. 
And yeah, that's actually all we need to know for getting a nice pencil sketch from the Sasquatch right there. Looks pretty cool, you can see some of the hatching lines are still uh, already there. But now it's time to use a Tombow pen. This is a Tombow Food and Soaker brush pen. And with this one, we will go ahead now and, yeah, of course, erase everything down. So um, we don't have to erase too much afterwards, after the inking process. And it's also a little bit nicer to see, to see everything when the lines are not as... Uh, as strong to be seen from the pencil. Yeah, and here you can see, uh, I just, like I like I said earlier, I just have to trace everything. Of course, I, we need to put in some line weight, which means we go from thick to thin, so the lines will be very dynamic. Overall, you can say, uh, make the lines thicker on the bottom and get thinner towards the light source. And you can also see I put in some extra hair which is standing out here and there so the whole drawing gets more life to it. Looks pretty nice I think. It's really nice to work with a Tombow pen because you can be very fluid and super fast with those. They really, they really work greatly. Just a little more pressure and the line gets thicker and if, if you have enough hand control, you can do really thin lines as well. Especially with the blue one, because the, the blue Tombow pen is the hard tipped one. It's even easier to, to control this one uh, as the green one. The green one is working very nicely as well though. Uh, just try them out, whatever you prefer. prefer. Okay, uh, here you can see all the all the lines from the teeth are coming in and the whole thing will look so much better once it's hatched which we will start in a second i'm using a 0.2 fine liner here from micron to to put in more more of the details and you can see already here we go with the hatching a lot of hatching lines you don't have to follow them along exactly like i did here that's not necessary you can choose your own route, so to say, but this is a very nice guideline, I think, so you can try and, and do them almost uh, the same like I did right here. But like I said, go nuts, do it your way, whatever you think is fitting and is working best for you. But overall, uh, the forms should be complemented. So, so when you when you draw a round shape make sure that the line is round as well so everything works out greatly and as you can see here uh, when you do a shadow you don't have to do the shadow lines with uh, all in the same direction you can mix them up a little bit like i did at, on the nose here so everything looks a little bit more alive you know what i mean i i really dig that it's like a Mark Silvestri thing, but it's really working out greatly. So it's never getting boring. Especially when you do a really huge drawing like this one, you need to mix it up. So be very careful not to, to produce just a boring piece of art. Okay, uh, there's, there's also a nice thing. The f what I'm doing right here, uh, the background from, from the mouth, you could go ahead and just do it black, blacken it out. Use, for example, a really a big brush pen to do that. But if you do it like this, there's more life. You can even you can almost see the screen. You know what I mean? You can see how the how the Sasquatch is screaming at us uh, because of all the lines, because they're like power lines, which really bring a lot of life to the drawing. So you can see I, I didn't go too, too strong in with strong blacks. Um, even though when I, will do the, when I will do the strong blacks for the shadow from the head on the body, even then I will, I guess, mostly use the pen I'm using right now. So everything stays alive way more than with just really uh, hard blacks. Especially since all of all of this is fur, because when you when you draw just a 
just a big strong black shape like with with a brush pen it doesn't it doesn't look right because on fur there are so many reflections and they need to be they need to be felt in the drawing you know what i mean and by the way since all of these videos lately are about sasquatch vikings please please make sure to check out the kickstarter the link will be down in the description of the video and what also would be very great is if you would be able to share this link on your social media or with friends and family that would help us out a lot because we need to keep the comic community alive guys and i put so much effort and blood and tears in this project so i would really highly appreciate uh, all of all of your help and if you're lucky enough to be able to to get one of the sketches because i will also offer some original sketches then you would be able to choose whatever you want me to draw and i would draw that and send it to you and i would also make a video about this sketch so you will not just get a sketch in the mail an original one but also a video here on my channel and if you want to i could even give you a shout out and talk about talk about the sketch or whatever whatever you have in mind um yeah and here you can see i'm going in with a very thick pen to do the shading underneath the head i'm trying out different pens because the one wasn't working too good so i used a sharpie but that's what i meant beforehand uh, you can see i didn't just do a big strong black area but i tried to to keep it very very alive with a lot of lines you can see in between because of all the all the reflections the fur would would have in real life and you can see it's looking pretty cool and it's actually quite easy to do you you have to follow a pattern but you don't have to be a slave to one so it's, it's working pretty easily and the last thing we need to do or one of the last things is to put in some details in this case it's like a beard uh, funny enough the sasquatch doesn't have a mustache but like a three day beard <laughs> but it looks pretty cool and that's what it all what it's all about we want to have a cool looking dude and now yeah last but not least with the with the posca marker with the white one i draw in some extra hair which which is so easy to do and it really looks it really looks amazing puts so much more life in the drawing and here we have it the whole thing done it was done quite fast because it's just a head sketch but i guess it will look awesome on the back of the book which you will be able to see once you have backed it up. That was a lot of fun and I hope you had fun as well drawing along. Okay my friends, I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for redrawing. Um, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now I want you to go and watch this video. That's where I tell you everything about the drawing contrast. You can participate to be in the book. Isn't that amazing? So check out this video, everything you, you will need uh, will be right there. And yeah, have a great day. Don't forget to do every day and see you there my friends.